Hi guys. So I've seen online like about 150 things about the Beauty and the Beast collection for Hot Topic and Torrid, but I haven't really seen anything about the Kohl's collection. So I am at Kohl's today to check it out and I thought we could just shop for the Beauty and the Beast collection together. Hopefully they have a lot of it here still. I honestly have no idea. This video could be a total bust. But yeah, hopefully we find some awesome Beauty and the Beast stuff to try on and maybe buy. Who knows? So I grabbed as much as I could from the collection. Um, some things are in my size, some things are not. Some things I just brought in to show you guys in a little more detail so I wasn't just like standing out in the open in the store uh, filming like a weirdo. So um, yeah, some of these I'll try on, some I won't. Some I really, really love, some I think are pretty ugly. So <laughs> this will be an adventure. So first is this open shoulder black kind of um, chiffon dress. Pretty simple. A little bit of like rose lace detailing in the middle. It is actually really pretty on. Um, <laughs> excuse my socks. This is a flattering cut, but this part right here is see-through. I didn't realize that when I put it on. Yeah, so far it's pretty okay. I am so sad they don't have this dress in my size because this is so cute. The chambray, it's got that lace detailing still and just like little lace flowers. I love this flutter sleeve. This will not fit me so I can't try it on but just so you guys can see, it's adorable. Have a Beauty and the Beast collection without a yellow dress. This is one of a couple I think they have. It's got, um, and honestly it feels kind of cheap, but it's got like a lace cover and then it's got like little pleated parts in the middle. This is almost kind of a flapper dress. This probably will not look good on me. And I was right, this is really not true to size, and I mean, it's really short, just not, not my favorite. This is another item they didn't have in my size, but it's a cute little, just like, moto jacket. I don't really know what makes it Beauty and the Beast, but it's got, um, it's a really stretchy, kind of comfortable feeling material, so if they had this in my size, I would probably like this quite a bit. This is one of the more cool dresses from the collection. Um, it actually feels kind of expensive, like more expensive than it is. Um, I really like the fabric, but the back side has this very cool ruffle, like very bell detail on the back of it. I'm excited to try this one on. don't have this one zipped all the way because I'm afraid I could never get out of it but it is really pretty I like this one a lot actually here's another pretty one that is not in my size again it's got that like open sleeve basically this whole collection has the open sleeve I don't know what that's about but it's got really pretty detailing and very I don't know very springy very eastery you're cute but you won't fit me This one I love, again, with the same open shoulder like everything else and the same detailing, just in black instead of white is the last dress. It's got this feather detail on it, and I'm so excited to try this on right now. Yeah, I love this dress. This is so cute. So cute. The next couple things I'm going to show you guys are things that I am not going to try on because I already know they're not going to work this lace like kind of um, like a lace bomber style jacket 
and yeah I just this is not it's not my favorite I don't like it I also didn't wear like the proper undergarments to try this on so it would look weird with my sweatshirt This they just didn't have in my size. It's just a plain Beauty and the Beast t-shirt. It is really super soft. It'd be really comfortable. But it's got the Emma Watson bell and the um, New Beast on it. I forget the guy's name. Shoot. Then they didn't include a romper in this collection. It's got that very trendy tie up and then it's all white lace. And then there's little ruffles at the bottom of the shorts here. I just, I know right off this isn't gonna work for me. So I'm not gonna try it. Next is this really pretty pink dress. I love the lace detailing on it. How cute. Especially at the bottom here, this kind of like open part. It's got a ruffle sleeve, a high neck with a tie. I like this. I'm excited to try this on. I do actually like this one quite a bit. Um, I'm a little tempted to add it to my dress collection just because I don't have anything like this. Super duper pretty. The only thing about this dress is it's a little short, but I put jeans on under it. And if you like belted this, again, ignore the socks. <laughs> This would be like pretty cute as just like a tunic style top with jeans. And last is this pretty lacy floral open shoulder ruffle. It's got the same lace detail. Just a cute little dress. This one seems like it's got some stretch to it too, so that might be good for me. I think this is actually the one I'm going to get is really comfortable, really like lightweight. It'll be great for spring and summer. And it's <laughs> tripping over my shoes. And yeah, this is really, really cute. I like this one a lot. Sorry, I left my jeans on. I didn't really feel like <laughs> taking them back off again. I was lazy. But yeah, I think this is the dress. This is the one. So that was the Beauty and the Beast collection at Kohl's. I did wind up buying the last dress I tried on, the white lacy one. I don't even normally like open shouldered things, but um, with that long flutter sleeve, I just thought it was really pretty. So I went for it and after discounts, it was only like $23. So when you compare it to the Hot Topic collection, I mean, it's really hard to compare the two because the Hot Topic one is way more cost to me. I mean, you have like the full on bell dress and like capes and stuff. This one is way more wearable and um, if you want like subtle Disney, this is the collection you need to go for because no one would ever know that you were wearing Disney stuff if you had this on besides like the full Beauty and the Beast t-shirt. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!